My name is Aaron North, Vice President of Education at the Kauffman Foundation. Education is a very personal experience for people. They have strong opinions based on their personal educational experience. It's also a three quarters of a trillion dollar industry. So there's a lot of people with a big stake in either power, finance, or both. You have people who have what I would call more of an outcomes or a data infused approach. And then you have folks who go more on anecdotal sort of criteria. Ideologies get in the way, people's personal philosophies, how people define a public school system. Those are deeply rooted in American enterprise, the American spirit, civil rights, and a host of other things throughout our history. So when you talk about education, almost anything you say is immediately controversial to at least 50% of the people. If I say we should have better teachers in classrooms, there's going to be people who would take offense to that because there's an implication that I'm saying that teachers are not good now. If I say teachers are fine now, then you have another large segment of the population that would say, well, if teachers are so fine, then why are the outcomes not where we need them to be? And so what you need to say is students deserve great teachers and we want to provide students with great teachers. That's the message. It's about the students. There are so many great, great young people out there, and I don't think we feel enough urgency around the fact that a fifth grader who reads like a second grader becomes an eighth grader who reads like a fourth grader becomes a high school graduate who reads like a sixth grader. And then as soon as they cross that stage and turn that tassel, they can't exercise further education opportunities. We're upset that they can't get the jobs we want them to have. And they're frustrated because they don't have the opportunities they feel like they should have from having done everything every adult has ever asked them to do. We talk about approaching our work with a great deal of humility, but not at the cost of silence. We're preparing them for a life of choice, opportunity, and happiness. We're not going to stop. Every day that a student is in a bad school is a deficit for that student. It's a deficit against their life as an adult, and it's a deficit against the children that they'll eventually raise because then they're less likely to have the opportunities that they want to provide for their children. We are not seeing the kind of progress we need to see. And that's not some self-righteous, sanctimonious standpoint, that's accountability. We understand that we don't have all the answers, but we also have some resource that allows us to explore a lot of potential answers and potential solutions. We need to focus on the civil rights of the students who are in our public schools and figure out the things that will prepare them for life as adults.